And Walker, obviously, he goes first overall. I think you and I kind of both jack like Jacksonville a little bit anyway at a long shot price to maybe win the division over Indianapolis and Tennessee, who I feel like, I don't know, I kind of like don't like Tennessee really that much at all this year. And Vernable would have to pull it out of his hat if that were to happen. And obviously the Texans are in year two of like a four-year rebuild here. So I don't know, like, does it make you change the way you feel about Jacksonville at all, what we saw last night? Uh, I wish I wish they had done something that made me feel like great about them this upcoming season. Like, cause these players might be awesome, but like I did not, I don't get a vibe off that draft. Like Jacksonville's go in places. There were a couple reports that a lot of teams had Trayvon Walker, like not even in their top seven or eight on their draft board that he was like not in play for them at all. There was like actually a, a prominent NFL reporter who said the likely landing spot for him, if he did. And this may, this made my heart hurt as someone who bet a little bit into this market. And we talked about it on the show, the likely landing spot for him, if he did not get taken one was ninth to Seattle, um, which would have been a 50 to one payout for me with a bet that I had made on him to go ninth or 10th. And, uh, and so when that's true, he could be awesome. I, I know nothing. I, I am not the X's and O's like combine guy. I just know that like it seems like they're taking a really big risk because this is a player that that and this is a first of all it's a general manager who everybody criticizes it's a franchise that does terrible things all the time and now they're taking a guy that a bunch of other franchises don't value very highly that seems like a that seems like it's a recipe for volatility at least high low who okay great but definitely not like a plug and play starter that everyone was like, man, what a great pick. <laughs> so like, it could be a lot of things. It did not, I'll just be honest. Like it did not make me like Jacksonville anymore. I hope he's awesome because I already have them to win the division. And I'm probably gonna have a lot more probably on that outcome over the summer, their win total. Like, I don't think Trayvon Walker's like a guy that gets drafted one where you bet the Jags like over six or six and a half. Like, I don't think there's any correlation there. I mean, you just, hopefully all these high variance outcomes line up and you end up getting like a division winning season. 